Hi, how are you? It's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Hogwarts Legacy. Last episode, we met a goblin named Arn, and he got his cart stolen by a bunch of other goblins because he would not join Ranrock's rebellion against the wizards and witches of Hogwarts. And the reason why he didn't join is because he believes wizards, witches, and goblins should all get along together. So we helped him get his cart back, and then we learned a new spell called Expelliarmus, and it disarms enemies. And today, we are going to continue to try to get more Wig and Weld potions. And we do have a couple of ingre ingredients that we can use. But first, we're going to head over to the greenhouse. Because there is a plant there that we have that we can, you know, harvest some... Harvest some whatever it is. I forget the name of the plant. <laughs> I think it starts with a D. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. All right, here we go. Here's one of these plants. Perfect. There is the Didney leaves. So we're going to collect some of this stuff, which is used for the Wigan Weld potion. I'm pretty sure there isn't any other plants that we can get. But we should, we should come here and collect that, like, any time we can, because... It does help a lot. Now, what I wonder here is, can we use any of the other, like, spots here to, like, put a pot down? You know? Well, through one of those guys. Look at him go. But I'm wondering if we can put a pot down. And then plant some other herbs that we want to, to plant, like these horklump juices. That's some letters. That's about it. And since we have Expelliarmus now, we can continue the main story quest chain, but I'm kind of reluctant to do that because I think we need more on another potions. Alright, so let's fast travel to the potions area. It's in the library annex, and we'll, we'll craft some uh, more Wiganwell potions, and then we'll go out and we'll try to farm some more ingredients. And we'll explore the world a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Potions class. Hilarious. Gareth Weasley still here? That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Oh. Yeah, it was, wasn't too bad. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Alright. Alright, so now we can make a couple of these. I still wish that we could, you know, make them ourselves. Another thing I don't understand is since we can't make it ourselves, like, what's the point in the time, to, like, the time to craft it? Right? Well, I guess if you're crafting something, it should take some time. But I wish it was just a little bit more interactive. All right, so that's another one. Now we can get one more. Now, look, I guess, do we need to collect bottles? It doesn't look like it. Looks like the bottles just come with the potions class. Which is good. And then if we ever get any Ashwinder eggs, we can make one of these Adurus potions. All right, so there we go. We're at a Hork Lump Juice. And now, I'm going to go try to farm some more. And if we run into any uh, side quests along the way, then I'll make sure that we uh, check that out. Looks like there's a side quest right here that we can do. I guess we'll do that. We'll speak with the student at the dock. See what he's got for us. 
We have over a thousand gold now, so we could buy the potions for a hundred gold a potion, but I don't know if that's really worth it. When you can just, you know, nice farm the materials. See you, my young friend. Okay. So where is the quest giver? Looks like he's over here. for some assistance hello can i help you oh thank goodness oh, it's a yes. slytherin my name is grace pinch smedley of the bath pinch smedley's i was hoping someone would come along soon i was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself you see i need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake might you be the one to help me That sounds brutal. Diving into the lake doesn't sound too appealing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not keen on mucking about at the bottom of lakes. Oh, please don't say no just yet. Perhaps if you understood my plight, you'd change your mind. Perhaps. What precisely do you need to retrieve and why? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. Oh, I'm so wow. sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Should I know who your family are? You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Okay. What is an astrolabe? What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. I'll have to think about this. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But... I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Okay. Well, it's just up there. All right. Well, the good thing is, is that on the way there, we can get a couple of uh, ingredients for the Wiganwell potion. We'll check this quest out, why not? Just want to see if there's any any juice down here. Come on. Revelio. And I wonder if it spawns like it probably takes a couple of days, I would assume, for it to spawn again. Yeah, that's too bad. Alright, so you can't just come back here, like, every day and 
get the juice. There isn't any leeches down here either. So we're probably going to have to figure out how to get some more seeds. Which we'll probably have to purchase and then grow some more, right? <gasps> or find some more areas where it grows. Revelio. Hopefully we find some during this quest. Just want to make sure we're going to the right quest here. Well, that's Jackdaw's Rest. Her quest. Where's her quest? Are we following it? Dive in the Black Lake and find the Astrolope. Northeast of the dock. I should swim out there. So northeast of the dock. Would be up here? Doesn't really give us any uh, coordinates. We could dive in the water and see what we get. Rebellion. Oh, there it is right there. So it doesn't really give you uh, an area to where it is. It's just in the Black Lake. We'll find it. Hopefully we find some more stuff along the way. Just need to find a good spot to start swimming. It's probably just over here. Maybe we should go back to the dock. And I haven't really checked out swimming in this game. I'm interested to see what it's like. Alright, so supposedly it's just up here. Try to get as close as we can. There's our first trial of Merlin. And I think this is as close as we're going to get. Here we go. It's time to get wet. Revelio. Where if we can catch those flies? Now diving, like... How do you dive? I assume it's like space bar. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. All right, so here, here we go. All right, so you just press F to, to dive down. Did we get it? Classical trimmed school robe. Okay. So we just have to go to certain spots. And then search. So there isn't really diving in this game. Nice. Three wig and weld potions. That is that is a score. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. And then a long coat. Seems like there's another one over here. Hope we can get some more wig and weld potions. Oh, a royal Chinese fireball scarf. Looks like there's another spot over here. It's kind of cool how they have a bunch of loot out in the lake. A gold-rimmed hexagonal spectacles. I think that may be it. I don't want to go too far. I think that's it.
Not bad, so we'll get to sell those. We got an upgraded scarf. Which is good. The more upgrades we get, the better. And we got some potions for free, so that's nice. Now, I wonder if there's quest rewards in this game, or is it just... Like, do you get XP or anything like that? I guess the quest rewards are what we found along the way. We'll see what happens here. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did, and it's yours for a price. I did, and I'm keeping it? <laughs> what the heck? What should we do? For a price? We're not Slytherin, so it's just not a Slytherin move. Maybe when we play Slytherin, we'll do that. We'll give it to her. I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Yep, there we go. We got a mermaid mask. Alright, so let's get that scarf on. But yeah, I chose to be a good guy. It would have been interesting to see what we would have got there if we asked uh, for, a, for her to pay a price or what we would have got if we kept it. I don't know what, what the point of keeping it would, would be, but maybe it's pretty special. Do you even want a scarf? Yeah, I'm not using this scarf. But yeah, it was a good, good upgrade right there. All right, so that's done. Now, I guess we'll just keep on doing more side quests. I don't know if there's any more here for us to do. There are some more Trials of Merlin. Seem to be all over the map. There's a side quest. Uh... Well, you have to go to the school if we want to do some more. Yeah, maybe we'll head over to uh, the Defense Against the Dark Arts class. I remember there being a, a side quest close to there. And I'm going to have to find out where we can get more of that juice, because that one spot doesn't have it all the time. I guess we were kind of lucky to find it. Alright, so let's head down here. Supposedly there's a side quest. Might some kind soul help me? Are you alright? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Why does everyone hate you? Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no-talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones, interesting. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Astoria are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Sounds as if they overreacted. You can say, like, I would have done the same. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps 
needs a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Any ideas how to reach them? Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Yeah, she's like the nicest person at Hogwarts. I can't make any promises. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Alright, interesting kid. So it looks like the gobstones are... are all over the place. There's a lot of them. Alright, let's see if we can get this gobstone. Looks like it's already leading us over there. So we'll check this out. If it's too rough, we'll just try another quest. But I don't think it should be too hard. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I guess what we do is we just... There's one right up there, isn't it? Accio! That's a bird. Let me also. Accio. That looks like one right there, but how are we going to get it? Can I shoot it? Accio. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. Okay, I let's see what all the fuss is about. That's pretty easy. It's not too bad. And we'll get to explore the school while we're doing it. Professor Sharp terrifies me. I can't fight Looks like the next one's all the way up there. Can't catch peeps! Woohoo! Oh, there's a pit. Where'd that paper go? I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. It doesn't get any higher than this. <sighs> I wonder what's up here. Look at this painting. Looks like this is... Who is this guy? Oh, we got some upgraded glasses. Nice. Medulia Onai. Under Professor Black's direction, it is my honor as Deputy Headmistress to offer you the position of Divination Professor at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are thrilled at the prospect of having you join our distinguished fac faculty. Please inform us of your intentions as soon as possible. I eagerly await your response. Warmest regards, Professor Matilda Weasley. So this is uh, Natty's mom. I guess we'll get in, end up meeting her eventually. I don't think there's any... Uh... Look at that. The palmistry model. The standing model of a hand is demarketed to help students in the practice of palmistry. Depending upon the angle at which this model is read, it either has a considerable lifeline or is likely to die in a fortnight. All right, so let's head down here. We just jump down. There we go. 
Oh. oh, there's the gobstone right there. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Accio. All right, that's another one. Revelio. What are you up to now? Accio. All right, so not bad. We just got to make it to the other side. in here. Rebellion. Interesting. I wonder what's inside here. What the heck is that? We got another hat. We're getting a lot of loot today, guys. Put this bad boy on. Nice little upgrade there. Four more D. And then we got new glasses as well. Five more D on these glasses. It looks so weird with those. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Yeah, we'll use that cap. And we'll get rid of the glasses. All right, so this door is kind of interesting. One, so whatever this triangle is, is supposed to add up to 13. And then the one below is supposed to add up to 21. And then this is, this is for 21. And there was one over here just for 13. So what's spider? So we got, I don't even know what all these logos are. We got unicorn, dragon, <laughs> a bunch of logos. So I guess this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? Okay. The spider is, is nine, wouldn't it be? And then the question mark would be three, so it would be this one. Let's see if this works. Is that it? One, two, three. So I'm hoping the spider's nine, that would be ten, and then that would be three. And then here, thirteen plus four, which would be seventeen. And then we're looking for uh, four again. I don't think it would be double, double sea dragon, but I don't know, we'll give it a try. Is that it? No. All right, so maybe this is zero, zero, one, two, three, four. So it adds up to nine. So spider would be eight, which means this would be four. So that would be one, two, three, four, which means it would be this octopus head. 
Kinda looks like an octopus. Is it that thing? I think that's it. Yeah, that thing. And then this would be... Two, three, so three is be 16. Which means five. Which would be that kind of like the crab. See if that works. Okay, now open it up. Nice. Got him. Medium ground surface. Let's see what else we got. Silver spectacles. Revelio. Anything else? Looks like that's it. Alright, well that's interesting. Fun little game. It's nice to know that this is zero instead of one. I thought it was well, it started at one, but it starts at zero. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. What's this? Levioso. Aha! Interesting. You have unlocked rewards available in the menu. Oh, look at that. Not bad. I want to get this first, though, before we go up there. And then we'll check out the collection menu. Okay, so there it is right up there. Accio. And then we'll make our way up here. We should check out the collections, though, before I forget. And here we go. So what have we unlocked? Revelio pages? Yeah, we got the Highlands. J. Pippin's potions. Yeah, unlock some appearances. Decorations. Set the tone for your vivarium from the ground up. Medium ground surface. All right, so when we eventually get a vivarium, I guess we can uh, decorate it a bit. Then we got a couple, a new mask and a new goblin helmet for our transmog. I thought we were gonna get like a reward. It's like helps our helps us with gear. I think we got to go a little bit higher. We want to get this last one. Oh, what the heck is this? Another one. Oh, you gotta go really high up to this last one. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Let's reveal it. Alright, so now we know how this works. Okay, 15. Plus uh, whatever that thing is. So that's two. Seventeen. Should be six. Should be this, like, lizard. Oh, kind of looks like a lizard. And that should equal, uh... Equal twenty-three. Now we just gotta find out where this one is. We'll roll it to lizard. There we go. Then this one down here. Also, they made it a little bit more challenging this time. So three plus, I assume that's nine, right? Three plus nine should be 12, so seven. Okay, so whatever that is, kind of looks like, oh, I don't even know, octopus. <laughs> See this if this works. There we go. Hopefully we got it right. Yep, there we go, nice. Nice, got some upgrades. And we got a Graphorn statue. So looks like you can, like, decorate your bedroom and... ...and other areas. 
here. What the heck is that? Incendio. I wonder if you can incendio that. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. You'd have to get closer. So there's one up here. I don't know where the heck you're... Or how we're going to get this. There's one of those paintings. Is it in there? Accio. Like... Incendio. Oh, no. This is so high up. How do we get up that high? It's like this is as high as it gets. Alright, well, we'll go this way. Maybe we can get a little bit higher. The Grand Staircase Tower. Wow, look at this place. They did a great job with uh, the school. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Oh, look at all the stuff here. Look at the size of this. Like it's this is like a troll knight. Troll armor. This unusual suit of armor was crafted for a troll. That it has survived at all is astonishing, since trolls do not ordinarily wear armor, and would understandably be prone to smashing it in confusion or anger. Well, they're lucky that trolls don't wear armor, because if they did, they would probably get destroyed. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Let's see if we can find anything else here. Revelio. Still need to get the last uh, gobstone. Oh, a chest. Another cloak. I can't wait till we learn lock picking. It's gonna help out a lot. Hogwarts Herbology Award. In recognition of exemplary skill in the field of herbology, Hogwarts bestows the special award upon seventh year Hufflepuff Mirabel Garlic. From mandrakes to mistletoe and Boo Boo Tubers to Bouncing Bulbs. Her work with Flora has exceeded all expectations. Mm, okay. Now where's the last gobstone? Seems to be in this area. I wonder what that sounds. Oh, there it is. Akio! That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Revelio. There it is. Goblet of Fire Casket. The Goblet of Fire rests within this ancient jewel-encrusted crest. The Goblet has served as a means of selecting champions for the Tri-Wizard Tournament since the contest's establishment in the late 13th century. Alright, so we're collecting pages. That's good. wonder if we'll ever get to compete in that tournament. All right, so it was fun. We got to explore quite a bit of Hogwarts here, so we'll head back and we'll turn this in. And we got to try out those, uh... Those little, uh, I don't know what to call them. Little games, I guess you can call them. Little math games. They give a little reward at the end. thought that was kind of cool that they added that into the game. But I think what would really stump somebody on those games, like if you think that the first one is one, like you, that would just, and you stuck with that, and it just didn't make sense, that would really stump people. It almost stumped me for a while, and then I was like, maybe it starts at zero. 
Like, I could see, like, some of my friends just say, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> it's just rage. <laughs> okay. Rebellion. There's always something that appears. I wonder what she's gonna do with these gobstones. What the heck is this? Is this for the quest? We have to go down here. What's for another side quest? It's good that we're exploring Hogwarts too. We're unlocking a lot more. Uh, fast travel locations. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, oh. <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Yes, of course. No, I think I'll keep them. <laughs> I, I can't wait to play a Slytherin. That's going to be so brutal. Every side quest you do, you just go back and say, yeah, I'm keeping what you told me to get. Of course. That's such a they scummy yours, thing to do. Oh, how wonderful. Create I so many enemies. I all my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. Hmm. Yeah, it's a wonderful idea. I wonder if she's going to ask us. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well. Off I go. Wish me luck. All right, there we go. We got a, another side quest down. We got three more to go, and then I think we unlock something. Let's see what we have in our inventory here. I think we got an upgrade. No. But this does have a, a rank 2 trait on it. If we can eventually get those. I, I wonder what that will be, like enchantments. It actually, I don't know those glasses. I don't really like them. I really like that they have transmog in this game. Like, if we took off all the transmog, I wonder what we would look like. I think if I just... That's us with no glasses. We look pretty weird, that's all I know. That's... Oh, plus uh, three offense there with this cloak. We have a lot of cloaks to sell, so maybe we'll head over to a town. Do a little bit of trading. Plus five offense there. There we go. What do we got over here? Some new handles. Purple handle's pretty nice. Kind of like this one, has like a needle. On the bottom, that's a nice one. I like this one the most. Alright guys, well, we got a lot of gear upgrades there. We collected a lot of loot that we're going to be able to sell. And I think that's what we'll do right now. We'll head over to... Uh, to the world map. We'll make our way to... Hogsmeade. And... Maybe we'll head over to Jay Pippin's Potions. See what's going on over there. Sell some of this gear that we get. And that should net us close to 200, I think. I mean, 2,000 gold. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. All right, here we go. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? What can I do for you Maybe, today? you never know. There he is. He's selling Horklump juice for 50 coin. I kind of like that more than buying these potions. So you get three potions for 100. 
There was a guy in this other place. You selling one potion for a hundred. <laughs> Scummy, I tell you. So I think the play is you don't buy the three for a hundred. You buy the five hork lump juice for fifty. That's the move. So we're gonna buy that. A wise decision. Thank you. Well, what the heck? Oh, so it says he only has three. So we bought one hork lump juice for fifty coin. But still better, you know, than buying one potion for a hundred. Should I buy them all? I'm gonna buy them all. We need them. A They're wise hard. decision. Thank you. I hope it is a wise decision. Okay, so we'll see here. What's this? Is are these like recipes? Powerful damage potion. The Thunder Brew recipe sounds good. Too broke to buy it though. Wonder how long these potions last when you when you apply them on yourself. So we're wearing all the good stuff. And I think these glasses are... So we can just sell all this. Except for our school stuff. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. Charming school choke clock. Let me get rid of that. There we go. We're getting our coin back. I don't think we need to hold on to it. It's like, I'm just selling the perfect vest. It's got to be transmogable. I may regret that later, but I doubt it. And then the extraordinary weave robe. Get rid of that, too. And there we go. We got over 2,000 coin, guys. We bought all of the, the juice. And we can check our inventory here. That's the only items we can sell is gear. You can't sell your ingredients to them? I guess you they want you to collect that stuff. Now, should I just buy the potions? But then you're paying, right? Then we're paying for... for the leaves that are pretty much free. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. All right, we're going to make some more potions, guys. And then maybe next episode... We'll uh, continue the, the MSQ main story quest chain. I think that might be a good idea. Because we should have enough potions by now. Okay, so off to the greenhouse room. We're going to get some more Didney leaves. And then we'll uh, craft some potions. It's probably a smart thing to do at the beginning of every episode. Just get some... On another adventure, are we? Collect your plants. You know? And then craft some potions, come back at the end, collect some plants. Hopefully this is done. Perfect. And then we'll, uh... Head over to potions class. I swear if I find a better potion... For healing, I'm going to try to get that right away because it, it doesn't really heal, heal you that much. Like, I go through these potions pretty quick. And I know we're going to need them. What's going on out there? Rebellion. This weird noise. So if you are good at lockpicking, you could lockpick here and steal all the guy's, all of his ingredients. <laughs> oh, never mind. Probably like see he's just right over here. But we won't steal. Alright, so we can make five more of these. It's a shame we couldn't find any out in the wild. But if we start to have, like, you know, a lot of coin and we're not really worried about, you know, buying spell upgrades and items and stuff like that, then I'll start buying the potions outright. But at the moment, I think we should be saving up for 
they're just better recipes and, and gear. I wonder if buying gear is even worth it, though. It's like, it seems like you get a lot of gear just from doing the quests. Like, I wonder if the shops actually have good gear. I know the potion recipes are 100% worth buying. For sure. I, I doubt you can just find those out in the wild. Or the open world, or whatever you want to call it. Alright, our final potion, guys. And that should put us over 10. That's double-digit potions. Which is pretty good. Kind of confident that with that amount. And all the gear upgrades we got. We're, I think we're getting kind of strong here. Even though it's just the beginning of the game. Alright, so we got 12 potions. Not bad. But I am going to, going to be calling this episode here, guys. Potentially next episode we'll continue the main story quest chain. Or maybe we'll just keep on doing some more side quests and getting a little bit stronger. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.